there is a, a story told about Beethoven. And there was a soiree at somebody's house, and he was persuaded to play his latest piano sonata. Now, he played it through, and then a lady in front said to him, Mr. Beethoven, what is the meaning of your sonata? So he sat down and played it over again. Well, the idea is to pay attention to the experience of that moment. And, and one of the reasons I, I do abstract art is that you, pay it, you, you are confronted by the, the immediate uh, happening or process. Just the opposite of what most people think. They say realistic art, you see, and they think well, that's real, whereas abstract art is not real. <laughs> When it's, to me, it's just the other way around. Uh, and, that a, a work of art is a kind of time being, or so you might say a time machine, that goes through the ages, down the ages, and, and radiating and, and affecting human minds. I think it was about 1926, I think. Uh, there was an exhibition at the Brooklyn Museum, and uh, that was a very important influence. It uh, came as a shock to me at first. I remember looking at uh, 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 Duchamp Villon's The Horse, and uh, like anybody at the time, I would think to myself, now why does he call that the horse? It doesn't look like a horse. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that uh, started a train of thought and at the time, I did a, a great deal of reading uh, of history of books on history of art, and I saw examples of both fairly solid, massive sculpture and, and even some sculpture made of feathers in some other parts of the world. And uh, so I got the idea that uh, you could make sculpture out of any material. <laughs> The heart has its reasons that reasons knows nothing of. Everything that exists takes a shrewd delight in being. When I went to art school, we were told to study nature. I realized that nature means, means everything that exists. And that includes my own mind. It meant the whole universe and, and even atomic structure of things and, and the shapes of everything that I in contact with. When I looked around and you look at woods or the structure of the human body, I saw patterns of interconnection. Everything was connected to everything else. Everywhere I looked, uh, and uh, that was a very important influence on, on my development. The whole idea of Buddhism uh, ties in with, with uh, much of my thinking. The word Buddha means the awakened one, and they hold that most everyone is sound asleep all the time. There's a story of this Zen master who was walking in the garden and one of his disciples said, where can I find the Buddha? In other words, ultimate meaning and so. And, and he looked at the leaves of it and he said, now you see, these leaves are short while these are long. Well, the idea is to pay attention to the experience of that moment. And, and one of the reasons I, I do abstract art is that you pay it? You are confronted by the the immediate uh, happening or process, and you will pay attention to that. Whereas in in painting or sculpture that has a narration or description, it refers back to something in the past or some other time, and it takes you away from the complete impact of the immediate present.
after Brancusi, uh, to me that was the the ultimate uh, uh, monolithic structure, the solid block, and and I felt that what needed to be done is an exploration of of what I thought of as deep space, uh, or interiority, or or other terms that I've used. I decided that this was the uh, Wild West, so to speak. I wanted to open up space, and 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 also I the, this idea that I was a, being a part of the universe and that I was ensconced in the universe, that it wasn't uh, something out there. It was something that was within me and all around me. Uh, the idea of being able to penetrate inside and almost feel myself within the structure, the way I am within the universe and participating. Jung spoke of the, that the, the unconscious of a person had a gender separate from the, the, the person's uh, ordinary gender. And the unconscious of the male uh, was female, and that of a, of a woman, a male. And he called the woman's unconscious the animus, and that of the male, the anima. And, and then I thought, now in ancient Greece, the idea of the muse in the studio to inspire the artist, uh, I thought that this was exactly the anima. And, and so I uh, thought that my own instinct and intuition was the muse, and I trusted it. And this is, was, the part for me, also the basis of abstract expressionism, to, to trust my own instincts. When I was working on the Milky Way, uh, I, I had a, a feeling that I wanted to make that kind of structure. And at that time, I didn't have welding equipment, and I just had to make this structure, and I laid it out in wire, and I had to mix plaster and, and other things to, to model this up. When I made that piece, I felt that it was a breakthrough, a, a very important breakthrough. Uh, I almost blush to confess that when I made it and I looked at it in the studio in my loft in New York, I actually was dancing around the studio. I was all alone, you know, and I felt, wow, I, I really got something going there, you know. In the long run, it's whatever works. That phrase, a work of art, means for me, uh, uh, if a, a work of art must work. <laughs> 